France and Russia may coordinate more of their actions soon, though. The U.S. is currently trying to build a military alliance with both nations. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Paris now. He met with the French president and after that meeting sat down with Scott Pelley. Kerry told CBS News he can foresee U.S. and Russian forces fighting alongside one another to fight Daesh, another name for ISIS. The basic strategy of destroying Daesh's center, its core, which is what we did with al-Qaeda, uh, is working. And al-Qaeda was diminished as an entity that had the ability to do what it did in 9-11 through the protracted effort in Afghanistan and Pakistan and elsewhere in the Arabian Peninsula. And that's Daesh sort of filled their void. We did and now that, we have to do it to Daesh. We did that with an enormous land invasion of Afghanistan. You know better than anyone that never in history has an air campaign accomplished the goals that you just set out in Correct. this interview. Correct, and, and there's no pretense here. President Obama does not, has never suggested. How do you root them out of Syria? One of the lessons of Iraq is that it doesn't have to be American soldiers who are on the ground in order to be able to fight the fight. It may take a little longer, it's tougher, who knows? But if we don't empower them to have the control over their communities, then when you leave, Daesh will move right back in. After Paris, the question becomes, do we have time to wait for that strategy to work before we see this kind of thing in the United States? We are doing everything possible within the framework of homeland security. And what we worry about is that for a terrorist, you only have to, if you're willing to die, you want to strap a suicide vest around yourself and you want to walk into a crowd and blow yourself up, you can choose almost anywhere to go do that. And everybody else who's in law enforcement trying to prevent it has to get every single thing right all the time, 24-7, 365. That's a much tougher task. Scott Pelley joins us from Paris now. You know, the disturbing prospect that John Kerry raised in his interview with you is the fact that soft targets, places that we visit every day in the United States, might be unprotectable. Well, I think he may have been acknowledging that because it's just the inevitable fact of life, Contessa, in a, in a free country. He said in the interview, look, we have to be right every time, 100% of the time, the terrorists have to get through only once. And so, in a sense, he was saying the kinds of things that we've been hearing since 9-11, that you just can't have perfect protection in a free society such as ours. It's something that the French obviously are, are reminded of tragically after last Friday, something that the whole world has to contend with. And I think Secretary Kerry was just trying to remind us of that fact, that mm -hmm. no security can ever be perfect. We have been seeing this increase in the passion surrounding the debate over Syrian refugees in the United States and whether accepting them might pose more of a risk to Americans. What must the conversation be like now in Europe where they've already accepted so many and where the terrorist attacks actually happened? Well, there's a great deal of concern about that, as you might imagine, with the passport of one of the terrorists having been, or the passport carried by one of the terrorists, having uh, been confirmed by Greece as used by a person who'd come up through that country with all the rest of the refugees. I mean, there are tens and tens of thousands of them, many of them in Germany today. And so there is a great deal of concern about uh, whether any of those people could be more assassins who have worked their way into Europe with that group of refugees. It's a, it's a ongoing problem here, and the European governments are trying to vet these people as best they can. But with a war like the one in Syria that has been going on for four years, you can expect a lot of chaos, and that's exactly what this is part of. Scott Pelley in Paris. Scott, thank you so much. Great to be with you on CBSN. Thank you, Contessa.